Hello everyone. Welcome to my social media app series. This will be my first video in this series and today we are going to create social media feed. I know that no one really cares about the user interface, so I try to make it really quickly and focus more on the logic. Okay, let's get right into it. So first thing, what we have to do is have a Firebase set up with database, authentication and storage. I assume you already know how to do it, but in case you don't go check on my tutorial, how to do it. But for this case, I already have database set up, so all I have to do is connect it with my project. And while we are at it, let's generate config files, and after that, deploy our storage rules. Okay, perfect. Now when that's taken care of, we can go back to our homepage and start to connect our database to Flutterflow. I'm going to add two new collections. The first one will be called Users, and the second one will be called Posts. Now we can start to add some data into this collection. Let's add topic and type will be string. Then we can add Poster, and this will be document reference to Users collection. After that, we can add image, and this will be image path. And last but not least, let's add date to this, and type will be date time. Okay, when we are done with this, we need to go to our database and create same collections that we just created. I already have a couple collections, but you can just ignore those. So first collection will be users and the second one will be posts. All right, now we can head back to our app and start to create the pages for this project. First, we need a page that we can use for posting content to our social media feed. I'm going to name this page as a post page. After that, we need to create another page, which will be our authentication page. I'm going to choose this one because it has sign up and authentication in same page. Okay, now we need one more as a cut page. I just want to find a container with some information inside of that I can use as a template for post. I like this one, so I'm going to add this to my project and name it as Cut Page. Perfect. Now I simply need to copy the container and paste it to my home page. But first, I need to add some elements to my home page. Firstly, let's add a row. And in the row, we want to add a button. That will be our post button. Then we need a list view so I can add the container to that. So just copy and paste this back to the home page, and after that, we can just delete the cut page because we don't need it anymore. Okay, now it's time to do user interface things. I'm going to make this quickly, but for your app, I think you want to take a little bit more time compared to what I do. Let's add a bit of padding to this button and change its name. After that, I'm going to add navigation to it, which will go to our post page. All right, perfect. Now I can start to edit this container. So the top will be poster. We can remove the image from the left because we will not be using profile picture for this app. Or maybe I might add it back later during the series, but let's see. The bottom text will be our post topic. After that, we need to add image to this container, 
in case someone wants to post a photo. Great. Now let's adjust this container that it has no regular size and add padding to the column. And last but not least, let's duplicate this text and make it as our post time. I'm going to edit this a bit so it looks better on the user interface. And after that, I want to edit my container a bit more so it looks better. I'm going to add border color to it and also make it a bit more round. Okay, now it looks terrible enough so we can continue. So let's head out to our post page and start to edit it. From this page, first we want to make sure that we have back navigation set up. And after that, we can start to clear all the useless stuff out, leaving only with one text field and a button to upload photos. So I'm going to remove these elements quickly, change the description text to a post, and go to my elements to add icon button, which will work as our upload media button. Let's make this icon button a little bit more prettier by changing the icon to an image. Okay, great. Now we need to add image to this page also. When we upload media, we can preview the photo from this image. Let's also change the button text to post so it will look better. Great. I'm going to add Navigate Homepage Action to this button in case we test this app before all the logic is set up. Now let's go back to our homepage and go from there. Now is time to set up our authentication. Click on the settings, go to the authentication section, and click on Enable Authentication. Our entry page will be our authentication page, and our logged in page will be our homepage. Now we can head back to our authentication page and start to clean it up and fix some errors that we have. Remove these sign in buttons. We are not going to cover those in this tutorial. Also, from the sign up side, we can remove these. Now, let's clean these a bit and we are all set. I'm going to add sign up successful page. I am not yet quite sure if we add it to this project. But if you like it, you can add this to your own app. I like this template. Let's remove all the useless stuff and, and change the top text to sign up successful. Now we need to add navigation to our button and it will be navigate to our authentication page. Open up your widget tree, find a list view and query a collection to it. We are going to query the post collection. We may also choose the order that we want. 
For this, I am going to order by date and it will be increasing. Now click on the top text and wrap this widget into a row. After that, I'm going to add little bit padding. Change the text to blue. And query document from reference. Here we want to choose users and pick the user's reference from your post document. Click on the text, go to user collection, and for this example, I am going to pick email in to this field. Now click on the image and choose the path to be imaged from our post document. Do the same thing with the post text. And finally, the last thing for our post date. I am changing the date to be relative because it looks the best in the post. Now we need to add conditional visibility to our image. By doing this, you can avoid a lot of errors. So click on single condition, choose the post image, and the condition will be is set and confirm. Perfect. Now do the same thing to the topic if someone posts image without any text. Click on single condition, topic, is set and not empty, and confirm. Now we are all set with our home page. Let's go to our post page. Okay, so in here first thing, what we want to do is click on the column and wrap it to a form validation. Now go to your form and click on the validate text field. You can add any criteria you want, but I'm going to keep it simple. When that's done, let's add some logic to our button. If we have a form on our app, first action has to be validate form. I am going to add a new action and swap the order so that is the first one. Search for validate form and add that to your logic tree. Now we can start to work on our icon button. Click it and search for upload media to Firebase. An upload type will be Firebase. Now we can close this and go to our image. And click the image path to be uploaded file. Now let's also add conditional visibility to this image. Click on single condition. Uploaded file and is set and not empty. Confirm. Click on the button and let's create more logic to it. Search for create a document. Choose posts. Add all the fields and then we can bind data to it. So our topic will be from variable, widget state, and click on text field. Poster will be authenticated user and user record reference. Image will be uploaded photo and video. And date will be current time. And confirm. Now we can close this and head back to our home page. From this page, I'm going to change the column to be scrollable. 
Also, let's check what error I have here. Okay, so we need to change my page's name. This will take a second. I'm going to rename this as Authent and the error should disappear. Great. Now it's time to validate and deploy everything in here so we can run our app. Okay, back to our home and now we need to do final touch to our app. We want to go to our Firebase and delete this empty document from our post collection. This will often cause an error if you don't do this step. Now we can switch back home. I'm going to add one more button in here, which will be my logout button. I will adjust this row a little bit. Change this button's name. Add a new action to it. Navigate to authentication page. And log out. Okay, now we should be all set. Let's launch this app in test mode. Okay, great. I'm not sure why I'm already logged in, but firstly, I am going to log out. Now I will create an account for myself so I will be able to post stuff if everything works accordingly. Okay, so our sign up page worked. Now let's go to our post page and try to publish something. I'm going to type here something random and after that, publish it. It works perfectly. Let's try another one. If the second one works also with text, we need to try the next one after that with image. It works well. What about if we publish an image? I'm also going to type something in here so we can see what the post looks like if you put text and image. Okay, the image upload works, but it takes a little time to appear on screen. Let's publish. And there you have it. Only problem is that the order is wrongly set up, but that's a minor problem. Otherwise, it works brilliantly. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoy this kind of content. I will be continuing this social media series soon. I hope that I see you in my next video. Have a great day.